Hey guys, Tammy here, and I got my cousin Crystal with me. I'm Crystal. And we're back for another mukbang, okay? And not only is this a regular, average mukbang, but we're kind of international right now. Mm -hmm. You want to tell them where we're at? We are in Arizona. Sedona, Arizona, baby, okay? Uh, we had a show in Tucson a couple days ago. And next up is, we got California, Oregon, Washington, all that shit. And I thought, hey, let's go by Sedona, enjoy the city of Sedona, and do us a little, I know it's not international, but this place don't feel like, you know, a regular mukbang. It feels like we're kind of international, if that makes sense. It does. It does. And I got, uh, I found this place called Secret Garden Cafe. And I thought, damn, that sounds exotic. So we ordered some food, okay? And and let's do again. All right. <clears throat> And you guys asked some really good questions um, on YouTube's. I'm tired of doing the questions on Instagram. You guys don't ask good questions on Instagram. Okay? So I need to go straight to the source. Straight to the mukbang watchers. So if you guys got a question for us, drop it in the comments. Say, question, dot, dot. And then ask your question. Okay? Ready to dig in? What if they put question... Colon. And then the question. Why is this light on my face like this? There's light reflected off that fucking car in front of me, and it's reflected off my face. And this is going to ruin the mukbang, by the way. i got to look for more parking. I can't. Uh, Crystal, you know I'm all about lighting. I'm all about lighting. The lighting's got to be good, or people won't watch the mukbangs. Maybe we could go see if those people have moved their car. Let me... Here's the thing. It's all got to line up perfectly. People will exit out of the muck bank if there's light on my face. They just will. Let's see here. Is this a sidewalk? Are you driving on the sidewalk? I actually don't even know. <laughs> Let's see if this works. This is going to be much better, you think? That looks beautiful. Now, let me straighten up here. We are in Sedona, Arizona, you guys. And listen, if y'all never been, this place is beautiful. I just love Arizona in general. We had a really good show in Tucson. Much better. Tuscan. Much better. All right, let's dig in, baby. <sighs> And we got it to go because there ain't no drive throughs in Sedona. Barely. They got a McDonald's. That's about it. Okay. <clears throat> There's Crystal's French toast. Oh, wonderful. And I had to try. Get ready. The website said world famous quiche. So we're going to try that. We also got a couple more things. World famous. If it's world famous, I got to try it. I also got breakfast burrito. About to, about to show y'all there. And breakfast croissants. Okay. Let me open up a croissant here and show them. Oh, damn, that looks good. That looks fucking good. I'm going to dig oh, in this croissant. That looks delicious. I'm going to dig into it. You got your potatoes with it. What comes on the croissant? Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, egg, cheese, looks like ham. Mm. My first toast comes with lettuce. Go ahead. Uh, orange. And toast and French toast. 
I like the lettuce though. Hmm. Listen, right off the bat, my croissant is fresh and buttery. This mm. ain't no prepackaged croissant. They made that in house. One thing I am pissed about though. I asked for apple juice. Did you say give me an apple juice for the smallest child you've ever seen? I said, hey, I have a little baby child that just started drinking liquids in the back. Can you give me the smallest apple juice you got for them? And this is what they gave me. Give me a half gallon or something. Give me a big old styrofoam cup full. I mean, what the hell? Mm, it is good, though. That's really good. I'll give them that. All right. Mm. That is delicious. It's good? Mm-hmm. Let's see here. I'm going to take one more bite, and then I'm going to ask a question, okay? Mm. You got to have the other half of that. I'd like to try that. I'm gonna try mine with a little piece of lettuce. That's good. Put the lettuce on there. I don't know why. And here's the thing. I know you guys are thinking, Tammy, y'all are international. You're still in America. We don't put lettuce on our French toast where we're from. Mm -mm. At all. Well, I've never seen that. I've never heard of that. So only in Sedona will you get lettuce with your French toast. And like we've always said on international mukbangs, we want to try what the locals are trying. That's why we're doing these international mukbangs. Education and information. Right. How was it? That's all right. That's all right. amazing. I got to take my tooth out, though, because I can't really taste when that tooth is in there. Put, put, take, your, uh, take your tooth out. Got it. There we go. All right, first question. <clears throat> Tammy, Crystal, if you were in the Miss America competition, what would be your talent? Ooh. And what would be your platform to help mankind? I'm going to be honest with you. If I ever entered a dick sucking contest, I would win. Mm -hmm. So that's why if I was in the Miss America contest, I would just straight up do a demonstration on, on how to suck proper dick. Okay. And my that would also tie in to my platform to help mankind. I would start doing seminars, mm -hmm. teaching people, men, women, it don't matter. I would teach anybody how to suck a good one, okay? Because there's so many people out there that don't know. And that when you don't tell people how to do it, they call it gatekeeping. She's not trying to gatekeep sucking dick. She's trying to teach everyone. Because I want everybody to know. Everybody knows that. I've always said that. That's important to me. I think the world will be a better place if everybody knew how to... There goes some ham. Damn. <laughs> it it just joking. jumped out. If, it, if everybody knew how to nut properly... Oh, man. Game changer. That'd be really good. But I'd probably throw something in there about world hunger just to gain some points. You know what I mean? You could maybe start like, let's stop world hunger and get to sucking dicks. Yeah. What would you do? What would be your talent? I think my talent is I would do tap dancing. That's and it good. would be a sitting tap dance because I can't really stand up that long. A sitting tap dance thing where I look really cute. And I think my platform would just be world peace too. Because mm -hmm. you need peace, you know. You can't be going around here fighting and shooting each other all the time. And mm -hmm. you go down to the tavern and all of a sudden you want to get in a fight with Reggie over there because he's looking at your girl. Right. No. Calm down. We ain't fighting and carrying on. Calm down. Damn. That's a wonderful question. That was really, that was well thought out. And it's got me wanting to help people, you know? It's got me wanting to hold some seminars. And here's the thing, if I do a seminar, I'm not going to sit there and have a bullet point and tell you how to do it. I'm going to have a hard cock there, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Mm 
Are you gonna wear one of them microphones with the little yep. on your head? Yes, absolutely. One that, when I'm ready to start demonstration, I just lift it up so it kind of goes up above so it's out of the way. <laughs> but listen, I, I'm serious. Y'all got me really thinking about doing demonstrations. Maybe a TED Talk, something like that. A Tammy Talk. Tammy Talk. You're right. Okay, I'm going to save this for you. And mine came with um, little potatoes that were really good. Very seasoned. Here, let me show you. Seasoned? The other half, that's yours. Look, check this out. Mmm. That's good. Okay. Now I'm going to try the world famous quiche. What is quiche anyway? It's, it looks like a pie. Mmm. So I don't know. Let's see here. Okay, it is a pie. So it looks just like a, see that there? Let me give it a tap so you can see it better. Should we do a thumbnail? Yeah, let's do that. Ready? Got it. All right. I'm trying the quiche here. Now, what's in it? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in for it. Okay, it's got crust on the bottom. Mm. Mm. What the hell? It's like a breakfast pie. Let me get a fork and get a little taste of that. It's a breakfast pie. Why don't they just call it that? Quiche sounds better. It does. It sounds very French. That is fucking good. It is good. It's like they took a little pipe thing and put egg in there and then cooked it in the oven. Eggs? Maybe some bacon? Maybe some cheese? I don't know what the hell's in here. World famous, though. Damn! We must be in a nice area because this is really uptown here. Well, you don't want to know how much this cost me. 30 bucks. Huh? More? Huh? 40? What the hell? 50? 60? Oh my. 70? 80? <laughs> damn. I would have told him to keep your damn food. I about lost my shit. And I almost said fuck you and walked out. But number one, I already ordered it, and I didn't. I didn't want the cooks to feel like they wasted their time. And number two, I thought I gotta do this for the international mukbangers who want to see international foods. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna walk by and sneeze at you. Who says at you when they sneeze? At you. That was fake. That was fake as hell. You don't say at you. All right. Ready? For you. you don't say that. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let's see here. Ooh, this is a good one. <laughs> Tammy, Crystal, if you could do a mukbang with literally any three people, who would you choose? Dead, alive, fictional, doesn't matter. Oh, Lord. 
That is really hard. Uh, it's easy for me. Obviously, John Stamos. We've said that. We'll say that till the day we die. Uh, uh, what's that guy's name that I wanted to fuck? I was telling you about. Harry Styles. Yep. I'd want him in a mukbang. Because I'd want to be like, hey, Harry, after uh, you eat your quiche, you want to eat my pussy? And I would say that to try to get him to eat my pussy. Just to let him know I was interested sexually. And he'd say, watermelon sugar. Yeah. Because that's what that song's about. Mm -hmm. Watermelon sugar is about a woman's discharge. Right. It ain't about fruits and vegetables. No. You think he's gardening? Think again. You think somebody that good looking is going to go out and get his fingers dirty? He can get dirty in this pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, it, that's about it. And then the third? I'd probably pick. Guy Fieri. Because oh. he, he's going to take us somewhere good. That'd be cool. He's going to know all the spots. Mm. So think about all three of them in the back with us. And the same time? Why not? That would be really cool. Who would sit right in the middle, though? Stamos? It's got to be John Stamos, because he's number one. And Harry Styles can sit on my lap here. That would be so cute. Just sit right here. Sit on Mama's lap. I'll just feed him. Give him a tuggy, whatever he wanted. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he would love that. Yeah. He likes older gals. He was dating a woman that was almost 70 years old. Oh, then he's going to love us. Because I got the pussy of a 70-year-old. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that it's matured. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Age like a fried wine. Yes. Yes. And I'm nowhere near 70. You know? Not at all. I'm still in my 30s. Mm -hmm. But this thing is aging like fine wine. I'll tell you that much. I never told you this. If y'all been wondering where Daryl's at, he's in jail. Okay, he is. Surprise, surprise. He's been in jail for about a month now, okay? He didn't want me to say nothing. Cat's out of the bag. Okay, Daryl's in jail. Uh, long story short, you guys know, I got, listen, I got to get this pussy pounded when he's not here, you know, and he knows that. So anyway, I hopped on Facebook, messaged this guy I used to bone, God, 20 years ago. Because he's been all over my shit. Timmy, 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 let me, let me pound that thing again. And I'm, I'm just like, ugh, you know, get it, like, if I've had it once, I don't want it again, most of the time. So anyway, I thought, well, let me hit this guy up, you know, he'll eat my pussy, you know. So he, long story short, he comes over, eats my pussy, freaking out. Timmy, how did, does it taste better than last time? I go, how do you remember what it tastes like? It was 20 years ago. He goes, I haven't forgot it. Uh, I still think about it all the time. I, you know, I, just saying how good my pussy tasted and all this stuff. And I was like, well, that goes back to what I just said. I'm aging like fine wine. That's really all there is to it. So. That's a hereditary thing. That's our whole family. Yeah, and you have told me that. And I knew it was coming. You know what I mean? I knew it was coming. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to choose John Stamos, George Washington. That's a good one. And the lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish. Okay. Yeah. So in case we get bored or maybe the conversation's not flowing, he can just chime in with, Oh, I want to be with you. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's smart. Darius Ruther. Yep. Yep. That's smart, man. Okay. One more question before I dig into the breakfast burrito. Okay. Tammy, who told you about the birds and the bees? Right there. And here's how it started. I was about six years old, walking to the bathroom, and I see a what I thought was a diaper, but turning out it was a big maxi pad. About this big. <laughs> okay. It was laying on the kitchen counter or the bathroom counter. All right. And I thought somebody died. I thought, you know, I don't know what the hell happened. I started screaming. It was this big. Just blood all over it. I started screaming. Mm -hmm. 
Crystal, Crystal, somebody died, somebody died. She comes in there and said, oh. she goes, I was getting a, I was getting a trash sack for the trash can. You, you beat me to it. My, my little ass just went in there. You know, you went to the kitchen to grab a Walmart sack for the trash can so you can put the pad in there. And you left your pad on the counter and that's when I went in. So you had to give me the talk about what that was. And then I had a million questions. And so right there, she laid it all out on the table for me. Told me everything. And I've never had a question since because she answered everything for me. And if she did, she can still come to me. And I had over the years had a few things, you know, here and there. But that's what happened. And so, I mean, I really thought somebody died. It looked like, I don't, I mean, it was not, you know, I still have never seen nothing like that. It's a heavy, a heavy flow. Yeah, I mean, the pad was this big. They had larger pads. It was the side, it, from here to here was the pad. They didn't have the technology they have now with the dry weave and all that. Right, 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 Always. right, right. So that was my, that was, that was really, you know, my first awakening. You know what I mean? And I had to explain to her when she was a child, it was like, when a man and a woman love each other, then when she got to be, you know, closer to 15, 16, that's when I really broke it down for her. And she said, hey, you ain't going to be in love. If you want to get a nut, get a nut. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can't and, tell a six-year-old that. And if you want to do it with a woman, do it. Scissor. Yeah. yeah. Scissor each other. She told me, you know, she said, if that's what you want, do it. She couldn't be as uh, abrasive as a little child. Right. She's tried to sugarcoat it, make it sweet, like, oh, a mommy and a daddy. Uh, or, you know, uh, uh, when they love each other. You know, and I, and I kind of knew back then that was bullshit. And I thought, she's playing one on me. And when I got about, yeah, when I got about that age, I came to her and I said, hey, I'm not in love with this guy, but <laughs> I got some feels down there. The loins are burning. Down there. And she said, oh, I just made that up. You ain't got to love nobody. You can just get a nut, you know? And, and you want to, you know, you ain't got to be married. It ain't got to be the same sex. You ain't got to talk to the motherfucker after, you know? And that that conversation changed my life. Because I was going to do it anyway, you know? Yeah, they always taught us that. Wait till you're married. No, if you wait till you're married and you find out he ain't got a good dick, now what? Divorce? Or he don't eat your pussy? Oh, God. <sighs> That's what's wrong with humankind. We wait till we get married. We yeah. Everything messed up and people getting divorced yeah i ain't waiting on shit that croissant if i want to come i'm coming same thing with daryl i ain't waiting till you're out of jail don't get arrested motherfucker you think i'm gonna sit at home and 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 not get my pussy eaten because you decided to do something dumb. And that's what I told Daryl. And that's what he said, baby, when I'm in jail, I want you taken care of, baby. I want you, I want you to get your nut. And I said, that's love. Mm -hmm. That's love. Because not many men would do that. No. They'd say, you keep that thing locked up. Yeah. While I'm locked up. Matter of fact, Daryl called me, collect, the other day. He said, baby, I'll make sure you're getting taken care of. Are you getting that thing munched on? I said, yeah, baby, I am. Of course, you know. Of course I am. He said, good, good. I'm going to munch on it when I get out. I said, I know you will, baby. I know you will. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know he will. But he's making sure I'm taken care of in the meantime. And that is... There's just no other definition of love than that. And I'm going to cry. <laughs> but you don't cry often. No, I don't. But when it comes to a nut, and when it comes to Daryl, I get emotional. <clears throat> and I can't stand that motherfucker 90% of the time when he's sitting over there, got shit on his beard, doing a mukbang with me. I can't stand his ass most of the time. But when I love him, I love him hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really beautiful the love that you have. 
And you love Daryl right away. Right away. Uh, and that's one of the first things. When we started dating, I brought him home. This was years ago. I was in my early 20s. When I brought him home, I said, Daryl, Crystal's gonna gonna uh really uh interrogate you. He walked in, what's the first thing you said? You eating your pussy? Listen, sir, this is what I did. I acted real tough. Listen, sir, you got one answer and one answer only. Will you or will you not be eating her pussy? And as I said it, I'm coupling his balls mm -hmm. like this, you know, ready to give him the, yeah, if needed. And he said, man, ma'am, I promise you I'll eat her pussy every day that I, I can. And he is. Even if we don't fuck, I still make him eat my pussy. You know, every morning when I wake up, when I've had a long day and I'm laying in bed and we're about to go to bed, and he's over there and he turns over, I go, uh, you forgetting something? <laughs> you know, he'll turn, he'll, but not baby love you, and he'll turn over. I go, ah, uh, yeah, forgetting something. And he'll come over and get a few little licks and we'll go to bed. And that's, and that's all I need. Just need to know you care. Okay, here's my breakfast burrito. All right. It's got, first off, why is a tortilla orange? Maybe it has something to do with Sedona because all their rocks are red and orange oh, down here. That's got to be it. You're right. It's got bacon, cheese, little red peppers, um, egg. That looks like it's it. It also comes with pico de gallo right there. And we got, what is this? Guacamole. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm going to put a little pico de gallo on there. Let's see how this tastes. What in Jesus' name is this? What's that? It's purple. I have no idea. Tap it. See if they can see it better. What is that? Where was it? It was in this, by all these potatoes. There's more of them. Purple? I've never seen that crystal. I don't know what that is. Sedona's got weird colors. I have no, I've never seen that in my life. Huh. All right, digging in. The orange tortilla is different. I never taste nothing like that. The spicy? No. This is good. I just think I like the quiche the best. What is that? It's weird. Tell us in the comments if you know what this purple nugget is. Yeah, what is that, you guys? It might have something to do with them, all the vortexes that are around here. There's a bunch of That's vortexes. That's true. And they say if you go up to these vortexes and stand in the middle and go like this, you'll get shot up into the sky into an alien hovercraft. And guess what? We've been trying every night. <laughs> every night every we're night. like this. Mm -hmm. Take us away. I'm literally, literally out there like this going, just, you know, just hoping that I get swept up in a vortex and some alien comes and just wrecks my pussy. <laughs> you know? Truthfully. I don't think they could, though, because they got such tiny mouths. You ever seen their mouths like a little lion? Well, you ever heard what they say about aliens? Tiny mouth, big dick. You're right. Okay, next question. Tammy, actually, I'm going to have you answer this. Tammy, what's your earliest memory as Tammy Toddler? Tammy Toddler? Little tiny Tammy? Yeah. When I started talking, what's one of the first memories you have of me, like, talking and being a little toddler? I One of my very first memories, oh, my God, I was probably about two or three, and you were on a date with this guy. Oh, who you, me. Sorry about that. 
who it was Christmas, and you thought he was going to give you an engagement ring for Christmas. Well, you came home, and he gave you bath salts instead. And you was crying up a storm, and you was just, I mean, upset. And I, and I, I remember going, Crystal, Crystal, what's wrong? What's wrong? And you said, oh, men can't commit, <clears throat> or whatever you say. And that's one of my first memories ever. How old was you? About two or three, probably. You had just started walking. Because yeah. when I was sitting there on my bed crying and carrying on, and uh, she had walked off, you know, and come back. And uh, she said, let's go. She talked like a, you know, a little kid. Let's go, Crystal. And uh, she had went and t torn the sleeves off her little onesie. Oh, well, yeah, I did. And uh, had the cute little pair of uh, shorts over it and said, we're going to go get him. I said, what you mean? She said, let's go kick his ass. Mm -hmm. As a three-year-old, mm -hmm. tore the sleeves off of her little onesie. You don't hurt her feelings. We didn't end up going because I was not going to take a child over there to to be, you know, fighting and carrying on. But the fact that she went in her little bedroom and it was the smallest bedroom of the of the trailer. It was tiny, almost like a closet, but she had a little dresser in her little onesies and little t-shirts and everything. She took the sleeves off of the onesie to show that she was ready to fight as a three-year-old. Yeah. Who has that knowledge as a three-year-old to know, oh, if I'm going to be in a fight, got to take a sleeve off. I just knew. You know, nobody had told me that. She could barely walk. She was a late walker, but she walked, you know, she waddled in there with the sleeveless onesie and said, let's go get him, Crystal. I was ready to kick that motherfucker's ass. That was one of your first lessons in men that will disappoint you. And I should have known better. But I got so caught up in his, you know, stories. Oh, Crystal, we're going to go to Disneyland. We're going to go to Paris, France and do this, that, and everything. And I listened. And that was the last time I listened to a man like that. I always kept my guard up after that. And guess what? Anytime I need her like that, I don't even have to say nothing. I don't have to say a word. She sees it in my eyes and feels it in my... She feels it in my heart. Hey, sleeves stay cut now, baby. I'm ready. I'm ready because if I ever if I ever see that motherfucker, guess what? Sleeves gonna be already off. Mm -hmm. she and we're be. looking for you, man. And just like we're still looking for Rodney. Rodney, don't think we forgot about you. We know you watch our muck banks. It's almost like a sickness, like a serial killer that leaves a little. A token or takes a token. He, you know, you watch these to see if we're talking about you. Well, guess what? We ain't forgot about you, but we ain't talking about you because you ain't getting the clout. Exactly. And people message us every single day. Every day. We see Rodney up at the Come and Go. We see Rodney up at the Kroger. And listen, he's scared about. He's oh my. Because people do tell us. That they seen Rodney, and then we'll head up to up there, and guess what? His ass is gone. Scared of us. Well, we're still looking for you, bitch. And that's all we'll say about it. And I'll still whoop your mom's ass too. <clears throat> I'd love to get a hold of her. Let's rate the scale, rate the food on a scale of one to ten. Should we do it as a whole or individually? Uh, whole. Okay, as a whole, I'm going to say an 8. I'm going to say 10. Okay. The only thing missing was a fountain soda. Yeah. And they could have left these purple nuggets out. I don't know what they were. Right. And it couldn't, they should have not charged $80. Yeah, you know a, what I mean? That's a little um, extreme. That quiche was amazing. The quiche was so... I felt like I was in another country. Very international food. 
the croissant, amazing. Mm -hmm. The breakfast burrito, I probably wouldn't order it again, but I would order the quiche and the croissant again. For sure. Without a doubt. Different strokes are different folks, is what they say. Somebody <laughs> might like this. Right. More. Right. Um, that croissant, though. That croissant was amazing. Guys, we're going to be doing another, another mukbang over on Crystal's channel. I'm going to put the link in the description. Go follow her channel, okay? And also, we got a bunch of sold-out shows coming up, but there's some stick tickets still left in some of the California shows and whatever. We got a bunch of California shows coming up. We're going to be in Oregon. We're going to be in Washington. Where else? Is that it? Portland. Did you say Portland? Portland. We got... Seattle, we got Bankers Field. Yeah, and if you're not following us on the TikToks, on the YouTube, uh, on the uh, Instagrams, on the Facebooks, and you, Patreon, and Patreon, you're missing out. And she'll get on the Patreon right before the show and say uh, some kind of contest, right? Then somebody gets a free meet and greet from the Patreon of that city, and y'all don't even know about that because y'all ain't on there. You don't even if you if you don't watch our Instagram stories, you're missing out. Had I posted a picture of my tits on Patreon yesterday, and I took it. So go follow us on all the things we post. Different things on different platforms. I'll put the information below. Click on the descriptions. And unfortunately. Crystal's Creations LLC um, um, surplus has gone down a lot. I've almost sold out of everything and I, my hands can't keep up. She can't keep up! But we're going to be restocking as soon as possible. Yes! Let us know where you want us to mukbang next. Okay? We love you. We'll see you at the shows. We'll see you out on the road. We'll see you on the cruise, and we'll see you here next time on my mukbang. Love you.